now to Sugar Bowl Stadium for the 27th Annual Football Classic. The American Legion Band, under the direction of Professor Howard Gordon, entertains the crowd in pre-game ceremony. Billy Sue Reardon, Sugar Bowl Queen, leads her entourage of Louisiana Festival Queens. George Schneider, President of the New Orleans Midwinter Sports Association, crowns pretty Billy Sue Reardon, Queen of the 1961 Sugar Bowl. The Ole Miss team in navy blue jerseys romps through pre-game warm-ups near the south end. Rice in white jerseys on limbers near the North Goal. Here's Jess Neely on the left, the coach of the Rice Owls, shaking hands with Coach Johnny Vaught of the Old Miss Rebels. Chancellor John D. Williams of Old Miss. Dr. Kerry Cronice, provost of Rice University. And now all fans stand with bowed heads as Reverend Sherwood Clayton delivers the prayer for peace. Then under baton leader Lyle Babcock of the University of Mississippi, all the musical organizations participate on the field in the playing of the national anthem as old glory is ring. Robertson. 
That makes it third and six for Rice. Cox takes a snap, takes the handoff, keeps the ball, rolling out to the right, looking for somebody to pass to, but he can't find a receiver, and he's thrown for a four-yard loss by Alford on the Rice 40-yard line. So it's fourth down, and Rice drops back into deep punt formation. Roland Jackson, the kicker, punts for the sidelines, and out of bounds it goes in the Ole Miss 34-yard line. The kick was good for 26 yards from scrimmage. Ole Miss taking over now with Elmore in at quarterback. He hands to Doty. Doty makes four yards of right tackle to the Ole Miss 38-yard line. Elmore to Guy this time. And Guy in that inside reverse play slashes through for 12 yards at left tackle and a first down at midfield. Rice penalized five yards for offsides. And then after Adams gains two at left tackle on first down, Elmore at left end picks up two to the Rice 41, where he's stopped by Webb. Gibbs tries left end this time, but he's hauled down from behind. It's a loss of two yards in the Rice 43. With fourth and three, Gibbs rolls out and passes to Blair. Good for 10 yards in the first down on the Rice 33. Jake Gibbs at quarterback now for Ole Miss. Drops back. Throws intended for Crespino, but it's incomplete. That makes it second down, 10 yards to go for the Rebels. Gibbs hands off to Anderson, his big fullback. And Anderson smashes for three yards to the Rice 30, where he's stopped by Burnett. On third and seven, Gibbs rolls to the left. Attempts a pass, then decides to run. And he picks up four yards to the Rice 26. He's stopped by Jackson. With fourth and three, it's Gibbs at quarterback for the Rebs, back to pass. Can't find anybody to throw to, and he's smeared by the left side of the Rice line for a loss of six. Rice takes over on their own 32. After two runs and a completed screen pass, fails to get the necessary 10 yards. On fourth and three, Jackson punts to the old Miss 22. Gibbs returns it to Mississippi's 31-yard line. Return of nine yards in the play. He's stopped by Jackson. Rice is penalized five for offside. Ole Miss with first and five on the 36. Gibbs hands off to Doty, who runs right in and picks up six to the Ole Miss 42 and a first down. Gibbs gives to Anderson on a fullback slant play. He picks up three yards and fumbles. Stroud recovers for Rice in the Ole Miss 45. And the Owls take over. Got to the Rice quarterback. Quick pitch to wait. He gains one at right tackle to the Ole Miss 44. It's second and nine now. Rice in Ole Miss territory. Cox with a quick pass down the middle, throws to Stellman. Incomplete, knocked down and almost intercepted by Alan Green. Cox sends a man in motion to the right. Rolls out to the right. Intending to pass, can't find a receiver. Decides to run and he picks up 13 big yards. The Ole Miss is 31, where it's a first down for Rice. Cox gives to Webb. And Webb fails to gain, brought down by Brewer as the first period ends with Ole Miss leading 7 to nothing. Randy Curbo is coming at quarterback for Rice, replacing Billy Cox as we start the second quarter. That's Curbo handling the ball. He keeps it, tries the right side, but he's tossed for a loss of two by Hoss Anderson back in the Ole Miss 33. Third and 12 now, with a man in motion to the right, Curbo drops back to throw. Looks for a receiver, fires down the right sideline, it's intercepted by Bowling. And Bowling gallops back 22 yards to the Ole Miss 48 to stop another Rice drive short of a touchdown. Ole Miss loses three yards and three tries at the line, and with fourth and 13, Jake Gibbs punts to the Rice 10-yard line. A kick of 45 yards from scrimmage. Butch Bloom gathers it in, but he's going nowhere. He's dropped after a return of three yards by Smith. Now after Ole Miss has penalized five yards for offsides, and with first and five, Kerbal gives to Jackson, who picks up two to the Rice 20. That makes it second and three. Kerbal still in the quarterback for Rice. Kerbal fakes the handoff, keeps. Tries right tackle, but he's stopped with one by Adams. Third and two. Kerbal pitches back to Candler. He runs right tackle, and he picks up five in the first down to the Rice 26-yard line. Adams stops him again. Kerbal hands it to Webb. No gain on this play. Alford comes up to drop him. Randy Kerbal fading to throw. He's rushed hard, but he gets off the pass, and it's complete to Poge with 13 yards. Another 
another first down on the right, 39. Blair knocks him out of bounds. And off goes to Candler. He's up the middle, but stopped with no gain by Ross. Second and ten now for the right Owls. On the move. Turbo back to pass. Throws intended for Candler. Incomplete. Now it's third and ten. Turbo takes the snap from center. Rolls over to the right. Finally gets off the pass. It's good to Poge for 14 yards and a first down on the Ole Miss 47 where Blair knocks him down. a draw play. This time hands off to Jackson who smashes for three yards over right guard to the Ole Miss 44. That makes it second and seven. Here's Kerbo rolling out to the left. Looking for somebody to throw to. Passes and overthrows Poge incomplete. Third down. Kerbo back to throw again. He's rushed very hard. Finally gets it off. Complete to Stellman for eight yards to the Ole Miss 36. And another first down for Rice in Ole Miss territory. Kerbo pitches back to Bloom. He cuts over right tackle and picks up five to the Ole Miss 31. Green makes the tackle. Kerbo again pitches back to Bloom. Once again, Bloom cuts over right tackle. This time, it's good for four yards. And the ball's on the Ole Miss 27. Third down, just one yard to go for a first down. As Kerbo gives to Cadell, but he can't make it. He stops short of the first down. It's fourth and one to go now for Rice University. Kerbo, the quarterback, pitches to Bloom. He runs right in, gets free, drives down the right side and picks up 17 yards and a first down on the Ole Miss 10. Kerbo attempts a quick jump pass, but he's thrown for a loss of two yards before he can get it off. Anderson made the tackle. It's now second and 12 for Rice. Trying desperately to score as Kerbo rolls out to the left. He throws. It's intended for Bloom, but intercepted by Green on the Ole Miss 8. Two plays gain only four yards with third and six. Gibbs punts out to the Rice 46-yard line. His kick's good for 41 from scrimmage. Bloom fumbles it around, finally recovers, returns to the Rice 48 where he's stopped by Brown. Rice still trailing 7 to nothing as Cox comes in at quarterback, pitches to Poge. Poge picks up seven yards at left end to the old Miss 45. It's second and three for Rice. Cox pitches out to Bloom this time. He slashes through right tackle and rolls for 16 yards and a first down in the old Miss 29. Brewer making the tackle. A tricky double reverse. Cox to Bloom to Poge. Good for five yards to the old Miss 24. On first down now, Cox pitches to Poge. He attempts left guard, but he stopped with a yard on the old Miss 18-yard line. Under center, pitches back to Bloom. He's going to pass, jumps and throws, but it's intercepted by Robinson on the Old Miss six-yard line. He returns for 11 yards to the Old Miss 17. Another Rice threat has been stopped short. Old Miss takes over now. On offense, it's Elmore quarterback with a sneak. He picks up three to the Old Miss 20. Elmore hands off to Anderson, drives over the middle for two more yards to the 22-yard line. Third down, five to go. Again, the give is to Anderson. On a fullback slant, he gains two to the Ole Miss 24. On fourth and three, Gibbs in deep punt formation. Kicks out for 44 yards from scrimmage. Ball is taken on the 32 of Rice by Bloom. He gets back four yards as the second period ends. The score at halftime, Ole Miss seven, Rice nothing. Here we have another capacity crowd of 85,000 fans viewing this, the 27th annual Sugar Bowl Classic. Giant steel constructed stadium is jam-packed. Right now, let's get down to the field and enjoy some of the halftime pageantry. Here's the Rice University Band depicting a Sugar Bowl and playing the Sugar Blues. nationally famous high stepper is in band dedicate their segment of the halftime show to New Orleans home of jazz and the so 
celebrated Ole Miss band entertains the band. Left tackle. Slants back for five 
yards to the old Miss nine. Second down and five yards to go. Here's Cox to Bloom. Bloom tries right tackle, gains three to the six yard line. Third down, two yards to go on the old Miss six. Cox keeps it, rolls out to the right, gets back hard over right tackle and drives all the way to the old Miss two. It's first down and goal to go. The Rebels dig in. Jackson, a big fullback, smashes off right tackle. Picks up a yard. He stopped one yard short of the Ole Miss goal. Second and one to go. Jackson tries again off right guard. But Anderson halts him with no gain. That makes it third and one yard to go. Cox fakes a handoff. Keeps it. But he can't get anywhere. He's thrown for a loss of a yard to the Ole Miss two. So here's the crucial play. Fourth and goal to go. Cox pitches out to Butch Bloom. He's going around right end, and he's going in there. It's a touchdown for Rice. Martin will hold. Max Webb do the kicking for Rice. They could tie the game. There's the boot, but it's no good. And Rice trails by a single point, seven to six. Kicking off now to the Ole Miss 20-yard line. Adams takes it in. Runs it back 17 yards to the Rebels 37. He's brought down by the kicker, Webb. Jake Gibbs is the Ole Miss quarterback now. He rolls out to the right. Passes intended for Dabs. Incomplete. Gives back the pass again. Decides to run with it. Breaks free up the middle. And off he goes for 19 yards and a first down to the Rice 44. Gibbs hands off to Adams this time at right guard. He picks up three to the Rice 41. And the third period ends. Rice trails 7-6. to six. Final period begins now, and it's still anybody's ball game as Jake Gibbs goes back to pass. He throws intended for Bobby Crispino, but it's out of bounds and incomplete. Third and seven for Ole Miss. Gibbs back to throw again. He's rushed hard and tossed for a seven-yard loss back on the Rice 48-yard line. So Ole Miss goes into punt formation. Gibbs will do the kicking. He punts down to the Rice 14, where Waite signals for a fair catch. Rice is forced to kick after three plays fail to make the necessary yardage. And with fourth and four, Candler punts right back to the Ole Miss 43. Here the ball rolls dead after a 37-yard kick from scrimmage. Back on the attack, gives it quarterback for Ole Miss. He throws, but it's broken up by Alborn. This time it's a draw play, and Anderson, the fullback, takes it through the middle for nine yards to the Rice 48. Third down, one yard to go for the Rebels. Anderson again gets the handoff, and this time he slices for four yards and a first down on the 44 of Rice. The Owls are penalized five for offsides, and with first and five, it's Anderson hammering off left tackle for seven more. First down on the Rice 28-yard line. Gibbs gives to Doty at right. Doty breaks free for 11 yards and another first down. This time on the right 17. Jake Gibbs rolling out to the right. He throws. Complete to Crespino for seven yards to the right 10. Ole Miss leading by a single point, 7-6, and threatening here deep in Rice territory. Gibbs fires into the left flat, intended for Crespino, but no good. It's a fullback slant to the left side. Anderson hammers out four more yards to the right six, and it's good enough for a first down. Gibbs hands off to Anderson at left guard. He smashes to the right three. Gibbs again to Anderson, but this time he stopped with no gain. So it's third down, three yards to go. The ball on the Rice three-yard line. Crespino in motion. Gibbs keeps it, but Wade and Ligon drop him the line of scrimmage. Fourth and goal, three yards to go for a touchdown. Gibbs rolls out, stumbles momentarily, regains his foot, three yards for the touchdown. Gibbs holding, Alan Green will attempt the conversion, and his kick is good. Rebels take a 14-6 lead. Now here's Green kicking off for the Rebs. 
boots the ball deep into the rice end zone. Wade picks it up. Gallops back out to the 12 where he's stopped by Robertson. So the Owls take over deep in their own territory. Randy Kerbo in a quarterback hands to Roland Jackson. Smashes for two yards to the rice 14. Kerbo drops back quickly. He throws down the middle, but it's intercepted by Robertson on the rice 28. And he gallops back 17 yards to the Owl 11 yard line before he stopped. Ole Miss in threatening position once again. Elmore in at quarterback, rolls out to the right. But he's thrown for a loss of three yards by Burrell. It's second and 13, and Gibbs comes back in at quarterback. Here's Gibbs rolling to the left, throwing to Doty, good for four yards to the rice 10. That makes it third and nine. Gibbs running to the right to pass, but he's hemmed in and dropped for a loss of seven on the right 17. Fourth down, 16 yards to go. Gibbs tries one last desperate pass, throws intended for Daniels, but it's incomplete, and Rice takes over on its own 17. Billy Cox, the quarterback for the Owls, runs off to the right, throws the ball, it bounces off Anderson's leg, and it's caught by Bloom who dashes all the way to the Rice 44 for 27 and a first down. He's stopped by Brewer. But here, old Miss holds. And after three unsuccessful passes in a running play, the Rebel on the Rice 29. The ball goes to Morris. He hammers right tackle, stop for no game. Second and 10 for the Rebels, time running out, and Green attempts a field goal from the Rice 37. His kick is short, and the Owls take over on their own 20 for just about one more play. And this is it. Cox, the quarterback, tries the draw play, fumbles the ball, falls on it for a loss of six, and the game ends. Old Miss has won the 27th annual Sugar Bowl football classic, 14 to six. Coach Jess Neely of Rice extends congratulations to Coach Johnny Voigt of victorious Old Miss. And so another Sugar Bowl classic is history. Why don't you plan to visit New Orleans, historic city of charm and culture, the home of the Sugar Bowl. This is Mel Levitt bidding you au revoir.